Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an author, speaker, and proud father. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello, ladies. Welcome to my spot. That man who is a challenge. That man who is a challenge. Ladies, ladies, ladies. You know what? I remember back in my uh, younger days, right? I would talk to many women. That's, that's how I know so much about y'all. Because I would actually talk to women. And I remember talking with many women about why they were going for a bad guy. Like, they have a good guy going for them, like them. And even in the old woman's words, these guys weren't even ugly or anything. So took that out of the equation. Had something going on, good job, real nice to them. Didn't have problems spending. They weren't cheap like Rom. They, they didn't have any problems spending money on the woman, any of that stuff. Shoot. But a woman wouldn't mess with them. Be all bored. This ain't, ain't bored. Be going for that guy they know is a player. I mean, they know he's a player. He probably messing with one of their friends or something. You know, he just got a bad reputation. But And then when I would ask women, I said, well, why would y'all go for guys like that? He's a challenge. A challenge. Because, ladies, I know how y'all are. Y'all want to seduce the man that you want to be with. You know, if the man handed to you too easily, y'all, you know, he just hand everything to you like, uh... But if y'all got to work a little bit, you know, fix up, do all that stuff to draw his attention, y'all be like, yeah. And then when you get him, you get him. Like when you at, like, let's be real, ladies, especially for some of y'all married women who might listen. You know when you, you know what, you know, you know when you walking down that aisle, you being escorted down that aisle by your father or whatever male you care about, and all eyes are on you standing up. You know it's more than just you just standing up there getting the guy. Y'all also know that you letting the world know, I got him. I got him, right? Shoot. Malcolm X said that in his autobiography. He thought he was running everything, had control over everything when he was uh, going for Betty. And then once they got married at the reception, her girlfriends were like, you got him. <laughs> So we know y'all like a challenge. But see, here's the problem with that, ladies. Let's be real. I mean, we got to be real. You might get a woman here and there that wins a challenge. But for the most part, y'all lose the challenge. Y'all lose the challenge. Because here's the thing. Y'all get that guy and then think, well, okay, I'm going to change him. I'm going to change him. I'm going to bring him to Jesus. You know, something. Y'all going to make him a good guy and everything. And, that, well, there's two problems on two levels, two levels with that. One, you trying to change him, but a smart man was like, well, I did this, that, and a third to get the woman. I'm not going to change that. And then another one is you might not like him because think about it. If he, You might have uh, liked the thought of challenging him to change him, but then you realize you don't like him anymore. That challenge is gone and everything. So... You know, it's problems on multiple levels. So, uh, especially with the guy, because sometimes a guy, he realizes, hey, like, oh, wow, you know, if I change up or I do something nice, I'm going to lose her. And then, you know, so he ain't going to change up. And then even when you think you've changed him up, the right circumstances, he revert back to who he was. Yeah, you might have thought, yeah, yeah, he ain't out there running the streets. He's cleaned up and everything. Let one thing come from his old life. He's changing up and stuff. And then here's the biggest, here's actually the biggest issue. Here's a real issue. You trying to change him in everything because you trying to get him to like you more or do whatever. In many cases, he ain't feeling you like that. See, understand something with men in general, in general. When we want a woman, we just go for it. You don't, all you had to do is just sit back, cross, cross your, your fine, sexy legs, and just chill. And the man will come a running. Two or three men will come a running. You don't have to do anything and stuff if the man really likes you. But 
Sometimes women chase a man who's so-so about, about them. He's so-so. He ain't really feeling the woman on that level. And that's the important thing to understand. He ain't feeling the woman on that level. And that could be a real issue because you're chasing a man who really don't want you, and then you end up getting hurt. And if he does mess with you anyway, you're just a jump off. Like, there are some men, you know, they say, yeah, this woman, she, she's throwing it at me. Let me just take it real quick. And yeah, quite a few women have caught a guy like that. They thought they were getting the guy, shoot, you just a masturbation partner with him. I ain't going to say a sex partner. You, you are a masturbation partner with him. He's masturbating in you. He don't care anything about you. But, see, women will chase that guy, try to get him to like them. And it was like, nah. Because, like I said, if a guy really wants you, you don't have to do anything. You know, all you had to do is chill. He's going to come to you. And women, y'all know that. Y'all know there's plenty of women chasing some guy who's a challenge, and they got five other men trying to get at them, five other men. So it's, it's smart to maybe look at those five men because they genuinely want you, you know? I know of a woman, she actually divorced her husband. She divorced her husband, right? But, and this is what she told me. Because after she divorced him, she had constant trouble with men, constant trouble. This is what she told me. And this wasn't a consultation session, so I ain't giving away anything. And I ain't calling her name. But she told me. She even told me I could tell other people. She was like, she got rid of the one guy who acted like he actually liked her. You know, every other guy, she was just a jump off. This one, She got rid of the one guy who actually liked her who actually, actually act like he want to be with her. So what would y'all think about that? You know, if you think in challenge and stuff, you, hurt, you might hurt yourself in the long run. Because seriously, and I've seen it happen a lot. Now, the sensible, I've met plenty of sensible women. They were smart with it. They were like, hold up, I ain't going to do all this hard work for some guy who don't really want me. Forget that challenge mess. You know, they'll get the best guy who's showing some interest and be good with it. So that's an important thing, ladies. You know, you got you don't don't get off that challenge thing because too many women are getting hurt by it. Now I know, you know, you still got that nature where you want to seduce a guy. Okay, all right, go for the one who's showing the most interest. Okay, do your thing. Go if he's making it too hard. Don't don't. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, ladies. Seriously, I'm tired of hearing ladies come back to me talking about how somebody hurt them or stuff. You know, you don't have to do that. So go for the guy who actually wants you, who has great intentions for you, all right? So anyway, that's all I got for now, ladies. I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings. Mm-hmm.